We're going to show how we install the AQL function that decodes the Base64 uh, traffic and as well as the set of rules, reference set and custom properties, all the nice work that Mutas uh, did for, the, for these use cases. And in the video description of all these series of videos on Sysmon, there is a link that takes you to a public box folder in which you find these files. So this obviously is the zip file that you will install the decoder. This is the set of rules and there are some commands uh, that we will use here to launch the attacks from the victim victim machine. This XPath was used before when we install uh, the, the WinCollect component. Another thing that I also did is I went into the admin console on the log sources and for the entry for the Windows logs I disable coalescent because I want to see all the events uh, individually. So to install the decoder it's actually as simple as it is to add any app into the uh, in Curator from the App Exchange, although this is, does not come from the App Exchange, this uh, work that uh, does this. So all you need to do is point here to wherever you have uh, those uh, those functions, download it. So let's first install the decoder. So we select the zip file. Like install immediately, it's going to say that it's not signed, which is fine. And now we also going to add the rules, reference sets, and custom properties that Mutas also created. If you want to inspect, which is a good idea, all the things that are going to be installed, that's perfectly fine. You can actually do this. So to test the rule and actually for later to uh, launch the, the actual attack on the use cases, in this uh, text uh, file, we put the test command and here you can see the encoder. This is actually what we are going to be uh, using first to decode the actual AQL extension function. And here are the PowerShell commands that we will use for testing the uh, use cases. So let's first grab this uh, in base64 encoded uh, string because we're going to use it for uh, testing the AQL function. So we go here into log activity and now if we do select and if I type uh, decode, yep, here it is. That's the AQL function that uh, Mutas uh, created. We need to specify what we want to decode. I'm going to paste the, the long string that I put before, I want to fin finish the sentence uh, from events and I'm going to limit this to one and now I'm going to go and in here I'm going to actually paste that long string okay so and if we click search and we did uh, this uh, right we actually see how that you know thing on on intelligible thing which is what the bad guys do to actually hide the the, the their tracks using base 64 uh, encoding it's actually something pretty malicious now if I see it in here as, as the function that decoded oh you know the, the calc Excel well I'm downloading calc Excel what am I uh, launching that from this uh, temporary directory now you know that this is something malicious so that's the AQL function working. To test the the rules that uh, Mutas created, let me actually fire up the Kali system 
uh, for testing this. So I have my Kali system ready. I put in my resource file, Jose RC, all the commands uh, to set the, the environment right. I open in the, this is the Windows machine, the, 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 the 204 machine. The Kali is the one that ends on 124. Uh, and in here, I need to grab one of those test command from the downloaded file uh, to test the rules. So in here, I'm going to grab not just the encoded piece, but the the whole thing with the PowerShell and all that. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to move to the Windows machine. But before I pasted it, I wanted to go into Curator. In the log activity, I put a simple search. I said the filter that says if the log source type is the custom rule engine, custom rules engine, uh, show only show me that. And also, I'm going to show that I have nothing on the on the offenses. So on the Windows machine, I'm going to paste the, the in, even the encoded uh, PowerShell to test the whole thing. And we see that the attack succeeded. And there was a meta interpreter session created in here. Let's go back to the Curator console. And sure enough, <laughs> we have the events uh, firing. And if we go to the offenses, we see one of the rules. Actually, this involves more than one of the rules that uh, Mutas did. And here uh, we, we can see them. Can actually open the last one. And here we see that this rule also uses that AQL function decoder that we also added. So everything is ready.